April is Alcohol Awareness Month, and it's a great time to educate yourself on how much is too much and the effects that drinking can have on our health. And this morning, we have our favorite health and wellness expert, Cassie Silverton, joining us in the studio this morning. We appreciate it. Oh, me too. Thank we were you. talking in the break, and I didn't realize this. You actually gave up alcohol completely how long ago? Oh, about a year and a half ago. And Why did you do it? Well, I went away for an extended trip, and I did not drink on that trip. I was over in Asia and just wanted to keep my wits about me. And I came home and felt so good. I thought to myself, is this from the alcohol or just the stress reduction? Right. Um, and then Christmas came about. I had a, dr a couple drinks on Christmas, woke up the next morning and was like, what did I do? Even wow. a couple drinks affected me so much. Right. And I decided to take 2016 off completely. Um, when 2017 came around, I just had no desire to start again. I just felt so there. good. How about that? Yeah. So what is an appropriate amount of alcohol to drink for those who do want to drink. Yeah, an appropriate amount for a woman would be one drink and two for men, and okay. that's very low. I mean, we consider binge drinking four or more, okay. so that's what's actually very excessive. But the appropriate amount, if you're drinking every single night, it, it would be one or two, so it's quite limited. Sure, and a so lot. for a woman, if you have too much, that's over one drink. That's right. A day. Yes, Okay. yeah, once a day. And then, What are the effects it has on the body? So the, there can be long-term chronic diseases that can um, be affected, so um, high cholesterol, we can have different types of cancer that are affected, so then there's also the short term, um, not sleeping so well, um, having difficulties remembering things, right. you know, hangovers, <clears throat> excuse me, those types of things, right. um, <clears throat> they can add up. And I've actually noticed for <clears throat> red wine, especially, oh, if yeah. I have one glass, I cannot sleep through the night that yeah. night. Yeah, it can really affect our liver and our liver starts processing around 2 a.m. and we'll wake up right out of the blue. So that was something that I didn't realize was, yeah. you know, affecting my life so much. And sleep is so important to the regulation of hormones sure. and weight loss and keeping ourselves balanced in general. Oh, together. Yes. So you took your year off. Uh, you, you felt better. That's felt one thing so you noticed. Better. What else did you notice? Weight loss. You did. Yes. I had about 10 pounds that came off effortlessly and really? they've just stayed off. Um, you know, in general, clear thinking and clear-headedness mm -hmm. that's a big difference and um, you know we we all many of us who drink you know might regret it sometimes uh, sure. maybe one or two too many or maybe more than that too many and so mm -hmm. you know being able to look at how much is enough and being able to stop ourselves so for some people stopping um, it's better to go cold turkey it takes about three weeks for us to um, have a habit break right and so if we can go three weeks those cravings are gonna stop they're gonna go away um, dramatically some people don't like the cold turkey thing and what maybe they need to do is start counting how many drinks they're having and limiting themselves to that one or two drinks to so be able they, to be to moderate. be aware of how much That's you're drinking right. absolutely yeah. and then see if you can cut back a little bit where can people find out more information from you Cassie Cassie Sobleton.com thank you it is always a pleasure to have you on absolutely you are an inspiration thank we do you. appreciate it have a great rest of your week thank you check out Cassie online and we'll have a news brief right after this stay with us